So Thanksgiving. For the Canadians out there that follow me and you're about to go into Thanksgiving weekend and you are uh, someone who from a very young age has realized this family just does not match me or you find yourself at odds or you find yourself in a crunchy feeling as you're going into the Thanksgiving weekend with family. I'm here to tell you that, of course, um, you know, you have... um, the right to take care of yourself, (laughs) just take care of yourself. And what might that look like? Uh, That might look like uh, you taking yourself out of a room when you don't like how the conversation is going. That might look like you having a ride uh, to to an Uber, money for an Uber or taxi or uh, somehow a ride out of there. If, if, for example, you're on a sobriety journey and your family of origin is not and you need, you feel triggered and you're going. Or if you feel somehow cornered or guilted or shamed or treated badly. Basically, you have a right to take yourself out of a situation that does not work for you. As a generational pattern breaker, curse breaker, we are all on a journey of discovering really what fucking works for us and what fucking does not work for us. But most importantly, understand that as you grapple with these choices to self-advocate and take care of yourself, you're going to feel some guilt and you're going to feel some self-doubt and you're going to feel some fear of missing out. You're going to feel a lot of feelings that counter your actual intention, which is to, you know, do life differently than where you came from. If in fact, where you came from was not healthy. So, um, obviously if you're having a, uh, a relationship with a family that is healthy, this may not apply to you and you can kind of scroll on by. But if this is, if you are struggling with coming together for the Thanksgiving purpose, understand this, you matter, you're valuable, you have rights. And no matter what other people say or think about you, you need to understand that self-acceptance is not about perfectionism. It's just simply an experience of, I'm human, I have rights, I have instincts, I have my own being, and I matter. And you may want to set up a set of sort of uh, parameters for yourself and say, well, I'll be here for three hours and then I'm going to leave. Or I'll, 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 you know, do some internal self-talk that says, no matter what other people are saying, I still matter. And just understand you're not alone. And please have backup plans for your mental health for your sobriety health, for your for your own, just generally your own well-being. And of course, you can opt to just not go if you choose to, but sometimes the guilt of not going or the FOMO of not going becomes a pain level that's higher than actually going. So you need a plan for when you're there. Share this if this uh, resonates and have yourself a good Thanksgiving. I'll be posting a couple more videos about this, but uh, take good care of yourself. All right.